To be a successful reseller, you need to find great items that sell for a big profit online. I've got Jamie, the everyday flipper, along for the ride with me today, and we're gonna show you how to do just that. But before we get started, I wanna show you a sale that came through overnight. It was a Canon waterproof case. I found this in a trip to the thrift a couple of weeks ago, and just last night, it went on to sell for $325, and it's off to Germany. We've got an international sale. This is the sort of stuff that we're trying to find in the thrift today. Jamie and I, we're gonna be hunting down these items. Hopefully we can find some more of that. Let's dive into the first run. It's gonna be a big one. And just like that, we are underway. Jamie's been able to find these Nike Air Max Thayers. I've sold a number of them before and you can generally get about $50 to $60 for them. Pretty quick sell through rate. These were pretty good too. Got the Zoom, uh, these were the Winflow 5s. And again, pretty good condition, $10 price point. Should be able to turn into 50. Got the NoFX 2014 Australia Tour Tee here. There's some pretty good comps for this and I'm only paying the $5, so I was pretty wrapped about it. I found this though, how about this? Uh, this was actually Jamie's find, the Dwayne Wade number Number three, genuine Adidas basketball jersey with just the $7 price tag. This should go for a clean $50 and I dare say it'll be a pretty quick sell through rate. Also found this as well, a genuine Gold Coast Suns jersey. This is a size extra large, seven into about 40. And then we've got an old school Brisbane Lions polo shirt. A lot of sporting gear, guys. Sporting gear sells really quickly. I've got the Kevin Durant Golden State Warriors training tee here. This is a really nice top and uh, quite a nice lightweight polyester as well. So that should move pretty quickly. I'm thinking about $35 for that one. But it wasn't just the one at a $7 price point. It wasn't one, it was two. Have a look at that. Another $7 price point here. This is a size extra large. Again, another KD basketball uh, training top. Pretty cool. Also found this as well. We've got the doggy style Snoop Doggy Dog tee. I just really like the print on it. Bit of fun. $9. Uh, Gildan size large. But this was the Instagram viewer poll question. For 30 bucks, would you have bought these basketball shoes? We did some comps and they were going for about $70. But is that really worth the investment when you've got to pay 30 all right, guys, first op shop run of the day, all finished up. We have the Nike Air Max Infuriates there is the Instagram viewer poll question. We were a little bit on the fence based on the size and the $30 price point, weren't we? What were your thoughts? Um, I just felt like, uh, based on size, it'd be a really slow mover. Yeah. And uh, the margin wasn't really there at 30 bucks. No, we had a look at some comps, and you, could, you probably could have got about 70 bucks for them, but yeah. the majority of you guys did say to go ahead and drop them, and we agreed with you guys, and we have left them behind. So I don't think that was too bad of a decision in the end. Um, let's keep moving, though. Off shot run number two coming up. Let's go. Well, guys, this is a first for the channel. We've got a new brand here. The brand is Zoe Carson. It's a size small, $8. Comps are really good on eBay for this brand. A big obsession print on the back with some pretty funky artwork. So I should be able to get about $50 to $60 for that guy right there. Levi Strauss, 100% cotton, extra large, made in New Zealand, if you don't mind. A $7 price tag on this one. Should be able to turn it into about $45. You can always rely on the Levi Strauss brand. Uh, we move into some more clothing now, and uh, I've got the Tommy Bahama polo shirt here, a pretty staple item for me. Size large, $6 price point. We've got the light blue, should turn into about 35. And then, uh, yeah, Jamie's been able to pick up this Jordan tee as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty cheap price point at the $5. It's a 2XL, bit of embroidery down the bottom. He's done pretty well there. We move into the DVDs, and I found the Vera DVD here. This one goes for about $45. Happy to pay the eight, considering the comps are so good. And uh, I've also found this one as well. This is a PC game, uh, The Binding of Isaac. And uh, I did some rough comps on it. I should be able to get about $35 for it. Not too bad of a $2 purchase. Jamie has done absolute wonders here. I would never have thought. However, Canon, as we know from earlier in the episode, does sell pretty well. But have a look at that. $100 for some printer ink? Who would have thought? Not something I've ever done before, but uh, Jamie clearly knows what he's doing with that pickup. That was a great find. We've got some video games here as well that Jamie's picked out. And uh, as you can see here, he's done pretty well with the Tomb Raider game. Goes for about 20. And this one here as well, Alien Isolation, goes for about $30. So he's had a great little run there with the video games. Should go on to make him some pretty decent money at the $4.50 purchase price. And then we had these as well. These were the Nike uh, Luna Lynx women's golf shoes. They were in pretty much light new condition. They had been worn, but they did have the original box and it was 180 retail and they were offering $20 in store. So that was an Instagram viewer poll question. Very curious to see whether you would have purchased them yourself. But Opshot run number two, it's been a pretty good success. Okay, second Opshot rundown and we had another pair of shoes there for the Instagram viewer poll question. We had the Nike Luna Lynx women's golf shoes. We're on the fence, weren't we? Yes. Um, had the box, but uh, fortunately they weren't new. They definitely had some wear on them. But um, 20 bucks was a bit of a 
Everyone said to take them though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. We had a really big Instagram viewer poll there with you guys saying to go ahead and cop them. And we've actually left them behind. We left them behind solely based on the fact that there weren't too many comps on eBay, which is not necessarily something I think you should commit to because if they are still a decent pair of shoes like Nike's and they're 20 and they're in box, you can generally kind of ignore the comps and just go ahead with the purchase. But we both have so many pairs of shoes yeah. that we probably don't need to risk it considering there was a pretty low sell-through rate. So yeah. we've gone against you guys and we've gone ahead and left them behind. But um, still plenty more to come today. Opshot run number three coming up. Pretty good little mini haul here of DVDs. I've got a bunch of Lego DVDs. Actually, that was the first thing that caught my eye. They were all really good discs. You always gotta make sure you're checking for the quality of the discs, but all of these that you're looking at right now are Star Wars related. So that will be a bundle uh, listing on eBay for me. I'm gonna go for about 40 bucks on those. This Grey Gardens goes for about 35, so that was really good. And then we've got more of that Ninjago as well. Not really sure of that TV show, haven't watched it, but it does go pretty well on eBay. So a good amount of DVDs purchased there. The GT 1000s, and the ASICs. These are actually an entry-level shoe, but look, they're in great condition. They're only $7, so how can you be saying no to that? What about this, though, in the clothing? The Harley Davidson Australia. This is actually a 1992 vintage singlet, so I'm, I'm anticipating about $50 to $60, and I'm only paying the six. That was an absolutely ripping find uh, in the thrift. We move into some more clothing, and I've got the Columbia vest here. Now, this is a size medium. Um, the price tag is, is pretty generous as well. I think I only paid the $8 for this one, but this this is the Omni Heat. Um, so that should go for about $40 to $50, I would say. Columbia is a pretty good brand. Hey, we've got this one as well. This one was only $6. It was Footjoy. Now, it's a golfing brand, but I do pick it up whenever I see it. We're talking again, probably $29.99 free postage. Nautica. Look, I don't typically buy a whole lot of Nautica these days. I used to buy it a whole lot more, but this was a really nice size extra large, and it was only the $5 price tag. So I couldn't really be saying no to that one. I've put that one into the basket as well. And then we found a very good staple here of the RM. Williams, a size 28 regular waist. Um, these were sort of a boot cut slim fit. Um, anything RM Williams goes for some pretty decent money. I'm thinking about $50 and I've only paid the seven. So they were in excellent condition. The uh, the swordfish that you love to find when you're in the thrift, Tommy Bahama, yet again for the second time today. We've got some shorts that will match that polo shirt really well. Uh, that was only six bucks. And then we've got some Oakley shorts as well. These are more of a hybrid. They've got the pockets and the belt component, uh, but you could almost wear them as board shorts as well. So I do like to pick them up. There were three of them there, all of very similar colors for six bucks each, but have a look at that. We've got a lot of clothes out of this store. There was one Instagram viewer poll question. Sorry for the foot footage of this one, but um, I was umming and ahhing about it, but Indy 300 at $7, you'd probably take it, right? All right, op shot run number three. We're underway here. We've done pretty well in that third run, probably the best of the day so far. Um, we have the Instagram viewer poll question. I've ended up taking this uh, this shirt, this Lexmark Indy shirt. I've just sold the racing a number of times, and I, the last time I sold one for about 50 bucks. So I'm happy to give this one a bit of a go. You guys thought so too. You guys said to go ahead and cop them. So um, yeah, pretty good third run of the day, but I did find the best item so far, which I, I deem to be probably the best item of the day. And we're gonna save that for the very end of the video. So stick around. We're gonna dive into the last op shot run now. We'll see what we can find. Well, it wouldn't be a trip to the thrift without another session of a problem with the plush. And I've been able to find the R2-D2 brand new with tags for $5, 35 centimeter. That should turn into about $30, but guess what? I left it behind. I've also found these as well. They were hiding on the counter from an op shop earlier in the day. I forgot to put it into the footage. We've got the Anko brand though. So unfortunately, you don't find much money when you're selling Anko products. So as cool as they were, we did have to leave them behind. So some big wins in the shoes. These are some Nike Legend Academy 8s. They go for about 80. They're pretty sweet. And then we've got these Merrells as well. They're leather. Yeah. Leather Merrells. Um, $15.50 on those. So that's sweet. And then you've got two here yeah, as well. Yeah, so we've got um, the uh, Luna Glide 7s. Oh, Always great. Uh, they'll clean up really well. Yeah. Good sellers. Yeah. And they're nine bucks too. That's awesome. And then um, another pair of the Fairs. The Air Maxes. Yeah. And um, these ones only got eight bucks on them. Let's have a look. Yeah. Not too bad either. Yeah, and they got a good sole as well. Yeah. They'll well, move pretty quick. Well done. So we got those two and we got these two. They weren't the only pairs of shoes we found. I also found the Zoom Pegasus 36s and these will very quickly move for about $50. I've done a number of them in the past. I've only paid the $15. That was a ripping grab to end the day. All right, mate, you got your bag? Good result. Well done, mate. Super stuff. 
And there you go, guys. Just like that, we are back home. Pretty successful morning for both Jamie and I. And Jamie's actually got a YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below. Definitely go and check him out. He's an awesome reseller, really good on the YouTube channel as well. And he's almost at 500 subscribers. So I think you'll get a lot of value by subbing to his channel. Um, my 30% club is that stick around to the end. I've saved the best for last for yet another week. I've got these. I picked them up for $25 and they are in great condition. We've got the Air Max 97s here. Paid the 25, I reckon I can sell them anywhere between 100 to $120. So there's gonna be some serious profit on these guys, a shoe that I absolutely love to find when I'm out in the thrift. So thank you very much for sticking around to the end of the video for those. Um, also wanted to do the giveaway as well from last week. Uh, I put the question up to you guys on how much I spent in last week's haul and I was gonna pick the person that got the closest. Well, the winner that I've picked out here is Odd Future Oz. He selected, I think it was $255 in the comments and my total spend was $256. So he was literally a dollar off being completely perfect. So uh, well done, mate. They are gonna be going out to you. I'll be sending them in the post. If you can get in touch with me on my Instagram, give me your address, I'll flick them out to you in the mail tomorrow. Um, that was everything, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you missed that episode from last week, I'm gonna put it right here for you guys to go and check out. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Remember to sub, remember to like, and uh, we'll catch you on Sunday.